Okay, this video is going to look at how to wash your boat to prevent salt issues as your boat ages. It seems like a pretty simple thing, but as a new boat owner, some may be unsure if they're doing it correctly and want to make sure so that they keep their expensive investment in tip-top shape. Well, I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to guarantee anything, but in the 15 plus years of owning a few boats, this one I've had for seven plus years, I reckon my boats have held up pretty well. Plus, I videoed a fishing trip, caught nothing, so I figured I might as well help a brother out with a simple boat wash video. The thing is, whether you catch anything or not, give the boat a quick run or a weekend trip, the washing process, it's basically the same. Also, anyone who dunks their trailer up to the bearings, axle or deeper, like myself, is gonna need to wash their trailer a bit more thoroughly than those with light tinnies who don't. The trailer is a really important part of the washing process. Okay, on this quick trip, only a couple of hours, I cupped some quarter on chop, which threw some spray over the front, quite a few times. So salt water is assumed on everything. Sometimes the electric motor will spray the boat with misty water in choppy conditions as well. So returning home and getting ready, my process is as follows. I will place the steps neatly in a slide towards the end of the video for those that want to copy or snip it and print it out. Firstly, I unlock the motor and lower the leg down. Next step, unpack any gear that you don't want washed. Bags, eskies, tackle boxes, cameras, things like that. Okay, next, unload the rods and reels to be washed. Tighten the drags on the reels to prevent any water ingress into the gears. Okay, next step is to set the electric motor down for washing, if you have one. Number five, give the boat a rinse with fresh water, including the trailer chassis. Get into all the areas that you think the salt water may have got around the engine mount, the gunnels, just everywhere. Okay, the next step is to mix up some Captain Salty or Salt Away C18, basically any detergent. It's a bit more of an optional, but I find this helps to remove the leftover salt crystals. Okay, spray that detergent over all the areas, as with the rinse previously. So after that, we re-rinse the detergent off. So basically this is the third wash. The initial rinse draws the salts off the surface and washes some of it off. The detergent rinse, it binds to the trickier salt particles and the third rinse removes those particles with the detergent, hopefully leaving a pretty clean surface. If you have blood or scuff marks, obviously you're gonna to need to wipe these with a rag or a sponge. I use a microfiber rag. So after this rinse, I pack away the rods and reels, untightening the drags as I put them away. Okay, flushing the outboard, I use the earmuff style and the salty Captain Outboard Wash. It has its own little mixing canister. Okay. 
I basically put it into mix mode, crank on the water from the hose, start the engine and make sure the telltale is circulating out. While the outboard's being flushed, I give the top side of the boat a wipe down of any leftover water, bait, blood, things like that. If I've taken on lots of water due to the conditions um, of ec or excess blood from, from mackerel and things, I'll gurney the floor down as mine's carpeted to try and wash away as much mess as possible. Having a self-draining deck here is pretty useful. A plywood floor may require more of a scrub of the blood, but not a hose to try and prevent a bit of wood rot. Fiberglass, a hose or a bucket and a rag will make light work of your mess. When the motor's flushed, remember to turn your motor off first, then the water, and then remove the muffs. On this occasion, I was able to let my boat dry off during the day, which was nice. Sometimes I need to pack it away almost straight away. It's not ideal, but that's the real world. I do have whirly birds in the shed to help the moisture escape. I was in a bit of a rush on this trip as I wanted to get back early to watch my kids play their team sports. I made it just in time. Anyhow, hope the vid was useful to someone who's just picked up their new toy and wants to take good care of it. I do the same process in water restriction times. I just use a gurney instead of the hose. I still do the three rinses with the detergent through the gurney system or a um, foam sprayer. So keeping your boat as salt free as possible, keeping up your general boat, motor and trailer maintenance, they're the keys to enjoying your boating experience. Cheers for sticking the vid out to the end and subscribe if you think you're going to enjoy my channel moving forward. Cheers and hooroo.